round one. What's up guys? Welcome back to another video. Today we brought Lawbringer. Now I want to discuss with you guys kind of a hot topic right now, mainly due to uh, For Honor trolling a little bit on Instagram. If you guys didn't see my community post, I'll put a picture of it on the screen right now, if I don't forget. Let me beat up this pirate's ass real quick. Now, if it's going to be an actual rework or anything, probably not. I got to long arm him. I got to long arm him because it's pirate. Oh, he pulled me out of long arm? Oh, that's, that's dumb. That's dumb. I do it so early. Oh, my God. And I got pulled out of it. Oh, shit. But that... I've been wanting to make a video about this for a while. Round a lot of people two. saying Lawbringer are like, Desperate needs a rework. He needs to be next, right? He needs to be next. He's up to date. You know, he, or not up to date. He's so out of date. He's worse than Yorm or Highlander. Which is all false. Alright, I gotta, gotta chill here. No, 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 no. Oh, you know, I didn't expect him to actually do that. Good luck dodging that shit. <laughs> yeah, dude, I, I was like, I don't give a fuck if he does that. I just, just kill him. Um, short answer for me, for Lawbringer, a rework would be nice. Like, some slight adjustments, kind of like how they did in Ibushi. But he does not need a rework. He doesn't need it. It's not like a huge necessity. You know what I mean? Like, there's people that need it way more than him. Oh my god. Here we go. Don't dodge. Yeah, let's go. But, as you guys have seen in some of my videos, even against some of the top people, Lawbringer can still perform well. Like, He's not so left behind that he's just utter garbage. But at the same time, he is very imbalanced in the way he's designed. Like his parry punishes, for example. Not parry punishes, his out of stam punishes. Are fucking gross. They are extremely high damage. While at the same time, he has shitty openers. Like really, really dookie openers but he's got things like high recovery that kind of make up for it for example off his shove his shove recovery is very good however as an opener it is probably the worst bash in the game like yorm's non-damaging 600 ms bash is a better opener than lawbringer's forward dodge shove now his side dodge shove can be useful in a lot of scenarios, but his forward dodge shove is just garbage. The only way you're ever going to hit that is if one, the opponent has like 100 plus latency and they, it just looks faster than them. And even then they can still usually dodge if they're paying attention. Two, if they back dodge, you can catch that because of how slow the recovery is on the back dodge. And that's, that's about it. I mean, you can't use it as out of stand pressure. It's too dodgeable. You can't throw an attack after whiffing. So it's not even like... A fast way to get to like your finisher for example kind of like old griffin used to be with his shove when you could chain after and then you could go to like your kick after he doesn't have anything like that griffin doesn't either anymore but that's that's besides the point so lawbringer is very in balance as is now again this isn't to say he is a terrible hero he's not as you've all seen he could do crazy damage if he gets you out of stamina which isn't that hard for Lawbringer, because his parries all can drain your stam. His long arm can drain your stam, which I'll get to long arm here in a minute. It, it needs at least one change. I'll go to that here in a second. His stamina drain, it's good. I don't think it's too much, but it's good. At least by himself. If you have multiple Lawbringers, your stamina is just gone. The second you get guard broke by one of them, you get hit by like three top heavies, you're fucked. Okay. You're fucked. There, there's nothing to say there. You're out of stam. You're gone. Okay. But 
in a dual scenario, let's say he does get your stamina out, right? And he guard breaks you or parries you. Mainly the guard break. The guard breaks stronger. If he guard breaks you, he can get two top heavies on you, which blind you, and they pause your stamina from regenerating at that point. You get two of those and a free light attack, or you could go into more unblockable pressure and either hit an unblockable or get a guard break or get parried, but that's very unlikely. And his out of stam punish is the grossest in the game. There's not a better one. There's not even close to a better one. Nusha's like punishes, Gladiator's punishes. They don't compete because this just keeps your stamina gone. And even if Lawbringer puts himself out of stamina, going for the punish, because he hits you with the blind, like, on his second hit, if not, or your third hit, you know, because if he does one. hit you with that, he still gets it back before, because your stamina was paused. So, he's very imbalanced in that. Right now, that's his greatest strength. That and parries, of course. But, at the same time, like I said, his openers kind of suck. You kind of have to rely on them not to parry or not. I had a feeling you would do that. There we go. Oh, I got pulled out of a light attack there. Rip. A heavy faint. Or just... I'm really surprised people just parry the top heavy. Man. Should have thrown that heavy through. Oh, he got me there. No. No. Oh, dude, in my mind, I was like, he's not gonna kick. He ain't gonna kick. No way in hell is a kick coming. He did it. That was good, though. I like the risk. The kick is a pretty decent offense, but, like, at high level, like, the highest level, you'd be surprised who can dodge that shit on reaction, man. That's a Griffin balance issue. I'm not, I'm not here to talk about Griffin balance. Griffin's, like, my second most played. Maybe I'll make another video about him in the future. But, the Lawbringer, man. The thing, his issue with this openers, right? He has side enhanced lights, which is great, but the only thing you can go into after is a heavy. And while that isn't too terrible in itself, I need to do that shit. Um, put a side heavy there, or not. Um, he's countered by too much, man. These guys haven't fainted to the guard break much. Oh. See if I put him out of stam here? Yeah. Let's go. One use for the long arm there. It does drain stamina faster. Uh, not faster. It drains more stamina than the top heavy blind does. So used in the right scenarios, that's actually useful. But the thing is about his openers, right? If you hit an opening heavy, I think his chain pressure is fine at that point. Because you can go into shove, you can go into top light, 400 MS, you can go to a chain wow. heavy, which will catch most dodges. Um, not all of them, but most of them, unless they dodge attack, and then that's just a feint to parry, which is fine. Um, but opening light to heavy sucks. Because you go get somebody with like a crushing counter, for example. You know, I didn't think he'd go for the parry there. Oh. Oh my god. He was sleeping. He was sleeping. Nah. Yeah. Parry this shit. <laughs> I knew he wouldn't parry it. He had no stam. It's, it's so risky to parry with no stam. Or low stam. Not, not no stam. But. but the thing is, say you're going to get like a black prior, right? You go light into heavy. It's, it takes too long. You don't have a light-light combo. And because of that, they have like four options they can go for on the defensive end. Oh, I thought he... Where the... Oh, that sucks! That sucks for him. Backstab light fucked him over. That's funny. But like, light and a heavy, right? That's gonna be like your main opener. 
Because, especially on console, when you're against console people, dude, they just go for parries on, like, every heavy, right? It's annoying. And depending on the range you throw it from, you can't even faint to GB. Because Lawbringer's heavies do have pretty good range. But, like, they don't pull you forward enough until the actual impact. So, faint to GB just does not work in a lot of scenarios. So, let's say you open with a light, side light. Ah, oh, shit. Oh, he fucked up. Oh, she's probably dead here, actually. Yep. See, look at that. That's such a gross punish. Oh, goodness. And because it hit him with the top heavy, it actually kept his stamina from coming back, too. So, pretty gross. But, light and the heavy. I've tried to talk about this for, like, three fights now. They can go for a crushing counter. Go for a parry. They can go for just for, like, a straight-up bash. They could go for a fucking guard break. There's so many things they could do because I don't have a light into light combo. It's just that slow. And if I... The reason the bash works, and sometimes even the guard break, it's because of how slow the heavy is. If I try to feign it and do something else, I can't. I'm just kind of stuck. <laughs> Alright, let's go. You fucking thought. That was not a zone option select. I think that was just a random ass zone. <laughs> oh... But it's just because of how slow it is, man. Like, if I'm going against you, you're playing Black Friar, and I go light and heavy, and I faint, thinking maybe you'll try to like try to light me out of it or something, and you just throw your bash because of how fast it is and shit. I can't dodge it. I just can't. There's no option. And because I fainted, and then you bashed me, I lost like so much fucking stamina just for having to faint it. And and I'm cool with interrupt gameplay. That is perfectly fine. It's just the fact that you always have that option. I never have the option to just throw, like, two lights at you, for example. Except after a parry. After a parry, I can. Which is a really strange mechanic Ubisoft added. I don't think there's anybody else with a combo like that. That's a new chain, specifically after parrying. I could be wrong. Not counting, like, guard counters. You know what I mean? Like, not guard counters, but, like... I say guard counters. Elden Ring's killing me, bro. Elden Ring. All the terminology of Elden Ring's getting me. Um... The parry counters, like Gladiator Special Bash, or uh, Warlord. I guess Warlord's is kind of unique, because he throws his headbutt light out of it. But then he gets the chains over, but he does get frame advantage after, so I guess it kind of works out for him. But, I don't know, man. I just, I don't like it. Light and the heavy, it kind of, it kind of sucks. Because at that point, it's, I would say it's a 50-50 if they're going to parry the heavy or not, but you have like 18 options to worry about, and... Dude, what the fuck is that guy doing with this chat? <laughs> That's funny. I've never seen anybody do that. He's probably trying to get me to chat. I'm good. And I don't ever turn chat on in this game. But most people are toxic, so I say no. But but no, it kind of sucks. Now, his finishers are fine. His, his unblockable finisher, even his light finishers, none of them are broken, in my opinion. And they do give you an option to keep chaining. Now, his top unblockable finisher kind of sucks. It's too slow. The only way it actually hits, like, without them completely interrupting you, is if you hit them with a heavy first. But considering your chain heavy doesn't hit that often, they're, it's really bad, in my opinion. It may work as, like, a target swap tool, but, like, otherwise it's just kind of useless, in my opinion. Aside from the damage. The damage is good. The stun is nice. But even so, even with that, if you hit them with the, the top unblockable finisher, right? 37 damage, really good. Or light parry, 30 damage. Pretty good damage. Um, you're at frame disadvantage on your unblockable finisher. Round one. So it's almost not worth it to throw it because having frame advantage, which means you get to attack next after that attack, which a lot of people do. Look at Pirate, for example. You can go 32 damage into 32 damage over and over. You know what I mean? And I'm not saying that's fun. <laughs> Oh, shit. Oh, no. He is really deflect hungry. Oh, the one time I don't bash. Oh, I played so bad that round. Okay, this man, uh, this man came out with 37 damage attacks in mind. Yeah, let's look at that. Gladiator gets 37 damage just from a deflect. Meanwhile, I have to throw a... 
1.1 second unblockable finisher. <laughs> that also puts me at a frame disadvantage. He at least gets distance. Oh shit. I don't even want to talk about Gladiator. Gladiator annoys me. Yeah. Do I can shove him off? <laughs> no! <laughs> I started a light attack, which is why I went out of stam. Oh no! Oh no! Oh no! <laughs> Everything's going so bad. Alright, gotta drink some gamer subs. Gotta do it. Gotta do it. Also, guys, partner with Gamer Subs. Take a look at them, man. They're pretty good. It's good shit. Oh, he's lagging a little bit. Nah. Hey, what the fuck happened there? Okay. Man, it's so deep locked hunger, dude. I'm just having to feign every heavy at this point. Back then, I died of that Shaolin, though, after just trying to shove him off for shits and giggles. Is so poetic justice. I'm. It's so great. Oh, poor guy. He even waited for it too. Oh. Yeah. Oh, I missed that. Oh. Man, I'd love to get more health back off these, but... Now, long arm. That's another thing. One, it needs to work like Highlander's heavies do off, like his Caber Toss, for example. Where it's fucking safe. You throw the heavy, and they get, like, hit stunned out of it. Because right now, for those y'all don't know, you uh, use a long arm, throw a heavy, they can light you. There's nothing you can do about it. You're guaranteed to get light attacked. It's ass. Uh, bruh, his attacks are so fast. Damn it, I threw a light at him there. That's so smart. Gotta fight this guy like he's a fucking berserker. No! That was good. <laughs> oh, that was fucking good. I had to take some risks there. I went out of Stam. Glad's not even really a Stam bull anymore except for his parry. His parry is still really good at draining Stam, but that's... That's about it, really. I don't know. I don't know why they got left, though. Like, they were winning. But, long arm. Let's go back to it. One... It needs to be safe, because like I said, you throw a heavy like you're supposed to. That's what you're supposed to get is a heavy. Um, hell, Ubisoft added that at one point, because at one point you couldn't even do that. You could only get a light attack. You can get a heavy with it, but at the same time, he used to have uh, two things. One, his shove used to be faster, so you'd get the shove guaranteed after hitting the long arm. Um, the light wasn't guaranteed after, but it was safe. But two, even after he was reworked, Oh, God. Bad voice crack. I think I'm just talking too much. I just woke up not long ago. After he was reworked, his shove still had hyper armor on it. So, if you tried to light him, he would just light you back, essentially. So, it didn't matter unless he was at, like, zero health or something. Or, like, two health. Um, so, it didn't matter. But now, he doesn't have hyper armor. So, now, if you're against a good player who knows what they're doing, they will not uh, just sit there after you hit them with the heavy. They will light you out of it every time. If they see you throw a heavy. Now, I have I will say I've done this before. I think I did this in 
my Twitch compilation video. I can't remember if that was it or not. Um, I threw a light and said after the long arm, and then I parried him, right? But, like, they have time to react to that. That's the thing. It is a reactable difference between me throwing a light and a heavy and them getting up from it. You know what I mean? So, that will only catch me off guard, like, once. So, it needs to be safe. That is the biggest thing it needs. Two, I don't know the other direction. I'm just going to be honest. I wouldn't even be mad if they kept it as it is, but gave it less GB vulnerability. Right now, it's like, I don't know, like 400 to 600 MS or something. It's a lot. I don't say to give it like 100 or nothing, because that would be stupid. It would just be basically an option select at that point. I don't know. Maybe they should make it less. Maybe like 200, because, I mean... It's not really an option select. You can't input that and something else at the same time. It would just be a read. It'd be like bashing, essentially, on a on like unblockable and it working. So I wouldn't be too mad about that, especially considering the speed of the attack. And I don't even think it needs to be sped up because it is a good ganking tool. It's gross. It is a really good ganking tool. I do think they would need to lower the stamina damage a little bit as well on Lawbringer uh, for his long arm. Because right now it's like 40 stam, which is quite a bit. I don't know if I need it that much. Um, I don't know, with the speed of it, maybe. So, I don't know. Maybe maybe those would be good changes right there. Um, it doesn't need to guarantee a top heavy. Because that would be extra stam right there. Uh... I don't have any stam. Uh, I'm actually surprised he went for a dodge on that. No. Yeah, he keeps going for interrupts. I can respect that. That's what the Lawbringer has to do. That's for damn sure. But yeah, long arm right now is trash. I love using it just because it's fun to use. And it does work against people whip teching half the time. Like Raider there. If I'd responded to him throwing that light faster... Um, I could have flipped him before the heavy hit me. Round two. But I don't know. There, there's some other changes I would personally make. Um, I made a video a while back on it. It was like reviewing a Lawbringer rework and plus my ideas or something like that. I'd recommend checking that out if y'all haven't checked it out. Yeah, we need to wait the fuck out of that. Really? Bro, this is a weird ass Deandi. Oh shit. What? What? What was that palm strike? What was the range on that palm strike? That caught him off guard. Like, what the fuck was that? But yeah, I've, I've got more ideas than that. I'll try to uh, remember to leave like an annotation to it or something like that so y'all can check it out. Um. See if I can get that whiff tech here. Yep, there it is. But he might light me out of it. That why does why is that hitting? He is console, so maybe. Oh shit! Please go out of stamina. Back up for me. That was such a late fucking parry, and it worked out. Mm, I even knew he'd throw a light there. Oh, shit. Oh, and he threw it! Fuck! Teammate! Win! Damn it! Oh, Raider can get to that unblockable so quick. And that's another thing, you know, Lawbringer has an issue with. It's getting to his unblockable quick. But he also has that shove pressure to deal with it as well, so. Round four. I try to not complain about that so much. It seems to be an issue with Griffin and uh, Lawbringer, just not able to get to pressure very quickly. I just don't even care. Man, he just kept one interrupt my ass, didn't he? 
But you can't really complain about it with Lawbringer too much, just because he has the shove pressure as well. It always sucks when you try to go to the light heavy combo, which I will say I rarely open with the light heavy combo. If I can avoid it. Give you a light mirror. Yep. Victory. Why? Why did you do that? <laughs> Why would you throw that three times in a row on a PAC Lawbringer player? Ah, oh, shit. Throw a light here. Oh, I tried to parry it, and I missed it! Ah, get fucked! Get fucked twice! <laughs> Man, I gotta end him with a long arm now. Oh, just kidding. I'm gonna end him the right way. <laughs> oh my god, that was great. Oh, I threw a heavy. Okay. I like that Tiandi. He plays uh, really fucking aggressive for a Tiandi. And no zones, dude. He didn't throw a zone like a single fucking time. That entire fight. Alright, guys. Well, I hope y'all enjoyed the video. A little bit of discussion. Let me know your thoughts on Lawbringer being reworked or not. Like I said, I don't think it's a necessity. I wouldn't be upset about one. Because he it wouldn't help to balance him out instead of having just crazy punishes and good parry punishes. And actually having the rest of his kit be a little bit more on the aggressive focus side. Because right now, he's super defensive. And I'm okay with him having good parry punishes. Um, but out of stamp punish need to be fixed. And I would like like another chain would be nice. Something tiny. I, I don't know. I'm not a balance expert. But again, leave your opinions down below. Don't take this to like fucking Redditors and be like, John says he, he needs a fucking rework. He's god awful. I didn't say that as I just kicked some ass almost every game this time around, except that gladiator, gladiator kicked my ass that one time. But hope y'all enjoyed the video, guys. Drop a like if you did. Subscribe if you're new to the channel. Also, I have a different type of video coming out here soon. You'll see it. It involves my favorite game ever in history, so you'll see that here soon. But guys, y'all take care. Catch you next time.